I, Allison, take you, Daniel, to be my best friend, my soulmate, true love, and now husband from this day forward. I promise to love and cherish you through whatever life may bring, through good times and bad, successes and failures, and sickness and in health. It's a dream that began about 28 years ago when I woke up literally one morning with an epiphany. I realized that our family was not yet complete. And the idea of Allie, the dream of Allie, was born. Allie, I remember the idea of you. I remember when you were a hypothesis. I had my sidekick. The woods and the cul-de-sac were our dominion. All we lacked was a princess. And then suddenly there you were, cute as a button, a living, breathing Cabbage Patch Kid of our very own. And I knew immediately that of everything I wanted to be in life, being your brother was the most important. We were notoriously overprotective brothers. The summer before Allie started high school, we were sitting on the boat, and I told her, I said, Allie, high school's different. The boys are gonna start to notice you. It's critical that you can distinguish between the good ones and the bad ones. But, but wait, said Allie, Zach, how, how do you tell the difference? I told her, they're all bad. But the truth is, we were just waiting for one. We were hoping that she would wait for one that would love and adore her as much as we did. And from the first day, Danny, you've been that guy. I'm the sister of the groom, and Danny is my little brother. I think it's safe to say that I know and love him in a way no one else could. Danny, I've been told that there was life before you were born, but I'll have to take their word for it because there is none that I can remember. We were together from the start. I have so many memories <laughs> of you and of us together. I couldn't possibly do them justice in a short speech. One of my favorites, though, is you coming in my room at night when you were little and sleeping on my floor because you were afraid. Then, when I would come home from college, I'd make a bed for myself on your floor because I was used to having roommates. I like this because it is so telling, as in one is much more normal than the other. <laughs> 